Hey guys, Pastor Brandon here with uh, Calvary Chapel Hemet bringing you today's Heart to Home Daily Devotional. I remember many years ago, uh, I was sitting down talking to uh, my pastor, probably your pastor, uh, and we were on the subject of evangelism. Uh, and I remember saying to him, uh, you know, I I'm not called to be an evangelist. Uh, and he opened up his Bible in about two seconds, found a verse that uh, addressed that. <laughs> he spun it around and pointed his finger. And the verse he pointed to was 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 5. And Paul, writing to his son in the faith, tells him these wise words. He says, But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. When you look at certain men through history, for example, uh, Dwight L. Moody, um, Billy Graham, Greg Laurie, uh, these are men who were obviously called to be evangelists. That's the call the Lord had placed on their lives. But whether you have that call of an evangelist, we're all called as Christians to, like Paul said, do the work of an evangelist. We've all received the same great commission uh, from our real commander-in-chief, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. That commission can be found in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verses 19 through 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of age. Amen. Jesus was speaking to his disciples uh, in those scriptures. And if you follow Jesus and you believe on him with your whole heart, well, that means you too are one of his disciples. This means that commission is just as much for you and I today as it was for his disciples back then. And when you stop and you really think about it, I mean, when was the last time you obeyed that commission? That, that commission from Jesus. When, when was the last time you shared Jesus and what he's done? I recently came across an article, and I'd like to read you a section out of it. It says this, A study was conducted and found that 80% of those who attend church one or more times a month believe they have a personal responsibility to share their faith. 80%, it should be 100% they believe that. <laughs> Yet, despite this conviction, 61% have not told another person about how to become a Christian in the previous six months. The survey also asked how many times they have personally invited an unchurched person to attend church. Nearly half, 48% of church attendees answered zero times. I can't help but wonder what Jesus feels about that. He's placed this priceless treasure into each Christian, but we oftentimes seem to hide it away instead of share it with others. In the book of Acts, the apostle Paul was in the city of Corinth, a very vile, very wicked city. No one thought anyone would ever be saved out of Corinth. But the Lord spoke to Paul in a dream, and it's found in Acts chapter 18, verses 9 and 10. It says, Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak. Do not keep silent, for I am with you. And no one will attack you to hurt you, for I have many people in this city. Do not be afraid. Do not keep silent. Speak. I am with you. I have many people in this city. Here's the neat thing about those verses. At this time, 
there weren't really any Christians in Corinth. Yet the Lord says, I have many people in this city. You see, what Jesus was saying is that he has many people in that city that don't know him yet. But if Paul would be obedient and not be afraid and not keep silent and speak, then many people in that city would come to know Jesus Christ. Guys, the Lord is saying the same thing to us today. Don't be afraid. Don't keep silent. Speak, I am with you. Because he has many people in your city. Many people that need to know who he is. It's a brand new year. It's 2022. May our New Year's resolution be to go out there in our city. Invite the unchurched to church. And share our faith as much as we can. May we do the work of an evangelist and fulfill our ministries. Hey, God bless you guys. It's always a pleasure doing these daily devos. Looking forward to next time. See you later.